So today I am filming the um, Most Worn Things Summer Edition and I've seen so many of these on YouTube lately that I thought, you know, it's one that needs to be so done. On the, on the top of the list is Most Worn Nail Product and I've um, I've been mixing up a little bit. I've really been liking neutrals a lot but I've been liking brights as well. Um, I've been wearing Concrete Mixer by Model Zone a lot because I love how it looks with the tan and then I've been wearing um, Rimmel Like Pro in Heart on Fire which is their kind of um, matte red polish which I think is a really nice red and I've, I always bang on about these because I love consistency um, and I wore this colour on my toes and hands for my summer holiday. Most worn hair products so I've kind of gone back a little bit in time because I, I used to use these products loads when I was younger and then I kind of moved on and tried a load of different things and then I was, I'm still doing my bathroom project where I'm trying to get rid of all, everything that's in my bathroom and I started using the Frizzies hair serum and the Curl Reviver Mousse and I had the old school version of it and then since I started using these I was like these are amazing, I don't know why I ever stopped using them and they're fairly pocket friendly, you know that you can just pop, pop into boots and buy them, You don't, it's not like Moroccan oil or anything like that so I've been using the original hair serum and I just, even if I just use this by itself my hair is just so much more manageable and I still love Moroccan oil but I just think you know, these these are classic cult products and I'm, I'm really happy to have rediscovered them I was born scent and I kind of started wearing this I think it was in May and I have basically haven't stopped wearing it and it is uh, Stella by Stella McCartney which I know everyone on YouTube loves and it's actually Barbara the Persian Babe who convinced me to buy this and that was originally the kind of little um, collector's edition little kind of portable bottle which had really pretty flowers on it and stuff but I was like I don't want to use that up so then when I um, when I went away on holiday I picked this up from Duty Free um, and I prefer the other bottle but you know the smells the same. Most warm bag and this was a bit of a tricky one because I do like to mix my bags up a little bit but I think the um, the overall winner was this Zara. It's um, It can be worn as a clutch but I wear it as a shoulder bag, it's got a strap on it. It's, it's an amazing amazing size. It's leather and suede and it's like pretty ginormous like it's not ginormous in the sense that you you know it overpowers the outfit or because I'm a petite person it, it overpowers what I'm wearing but it's you know sizable I can put loads of stuff in here and I just really like how it looks on and because it's black it just goes with everything and it's got gold hardware on it and I think it looks really expensive and it was like love at first sight it is actually like just absolutely stunning um, I've got loads of compliments on it. It was about £70, which is quite a lot for a bag off the high street, but I've, I've worn it loads and I'm going to keep on wearing it. Most worn shoes. Now this again was difficult. It's been, um, the weather here has been a bit funny where there have been really hot days or kind of, I don't know, it's kind of been so-so. It hasn't been an amazing summer here in the UK, but what I found myself wearing most is these pumps which I know they're a bit boring but for work they really do the job and they're really really comfortable they're from Dune I bought them two two summers ago and they do still do these they do them in like a few different colours now um, but I've worn these to death and but they still look pretty good considering I've probably worn them like probably a hundred or 150 times since I bought them they're like my staple summer shoe. I just love them with like an all black outfit. I think you just can't go wrong, and they're really comfy because they're kind of cushioned on the inside. So even though they're ridiculously flat, they um they're quite comfy, and I just like how classic they are. I've got them in a kind of a nude colour as well, but I tend to wear the black and white ones more because I think they're a bit more of a statement. Then we have most worn accessories. So. I've kind of kept it quite simple and I, I'm not not into loads of accessories in the summer because it kind of makes me feel a bit hot and sweaty so I've kind of been doing the bracelet thing a lot because I, it's just it's easy and what I have been wearing a lot with my with my black and white shoes is just a totally black like black top and black jeans and then like white pearls and I just think that's really like classy kind of 
Breakfast at Tiffany's style look. And I really enjoyed wearing these and kind of pearls are one of my staple things. And then when I'm feeling a bit more kind of quirky, I like wearing a bit of gold in the summer to go with my tan. So I've been wearing these um, two bracelets. This one's a spike, spike gold bracelet from Topshop and it's stretchy again. And then my Gogo Philip blue and gold kind of circular bracelet. And I really just like how those look together. I think they're quite quite different, but they kind of complement each other. Most worn clothing items. I've so. been wearing these for I think I originally got them my first pair like last last summer. And I think these were the first pair that I ever bought and they are the Lee jeans from Topshop. And these are amazing. These are like the most comfortable things ever. And I've got these now in I've got them in five colours and I literally just wear these all the time. And on my I'm currently wearing ooh, the green ones, which I also really really like. And these the green ones are my most recent ones that I bought. I'm going over to makeup, so this I've been quite into makeup this summer actually and I've been enjoying it probably more than clothes. So for my foundation of choice, the MAC Studio Sculpt and I'm using that in NC40 and if you watch my MAC haul, which I, it was in like December that I think I put it up, I went to um, the Carnaby Street 20% off evening and they gave me this as my winter colour and it was so off. So I really don't know why they gave me this and I was pretty annoyed to be honest. But now that, you know, I've been on holiday, I've got a tan, it's, it's the right colour for me so it's also got SPF 15 in it. It's it's alright, basically I'm just wearing it because I bought it and this is the only time I can wear it when my skin's the right colour for it, but then we've got most worn blusher and bronzer and these, I'm a bit more passionate about these than the other, the MAC foundation I just mentioned and they're both MAC as well. So I've been, for my bronzer, I've been using matte bronze and I bought this at that MAC 20% off evening. You all know what it looks like, it's the matte bronze and I know loads and loads of people use this and it's just it's just the right colour for my skin tone and I never feel like it's too orange for me. It's really quite subtle. It's not shimmery. I didn't want a shimmery bronzer. My blusher of choice has actually been Mocha. And it's such a nice like peachy pink colour. It goes amazingly with a tan. It's really warm. I'm surprised it was in their winter kit because I think it's it's quite warm for a winter kit. Um I mean this, I've used this so much, like I use these eyeshadows loads as well, it's just really convenient having it all in there, it's got a mirror on it, it's got the disco ball on it, and I've, I think I've mentioned these in another one of my videos. Most worn lip product is, uh, most likely to be the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, and I always wear this, I always use this, and it's, it just works, it does, you know, moisturises, conditions, is like a gloss. It just feels really luxurious and it just does the job. Just go out and buy this because it's amazing. And lipstick, if I am going to wear it, I've been enjoying um, MAC. I think it's called Taupe. It's just their um, matte taupe lipstick, which I know a lot of people have raved about. And this was actually the first MAC lipstick I ever bought. And I'm kind of get, getting down it now. Definitely recommend that. I'm wearing it today and I just I think it's really flattering and it goes really nicely with a tan. Most worn mascara. Most worn mascara. I'm not really into mascara. I'm just like, oh, whatever. I'll try. I'll try whatever's there, or whatever I've got, or whatever, whatever you know you get in a like Clinique bonus time box. I've tried loads of different ones. None of them have really wowed me. Um, Smoky Lash was the one I most recently tried, and it's all right. It's good for a night out, but I don't know if it's good for every day. Been using Clinique's high impact mascara quite a lot. Um, it's just one of their little kind of tester samples and I just think yeah this you can't really go wrong with this it's great for a day it's great for a night out it's not too much it doesn't clump well I don't know how much it is it's like 16 pounds or something which I suppose is, is a bit but it's for a higher end mascara it's pretty good and then holiday wise I've been using a waterproof mascara which is Max Factor Lash Extension Effect one has one of the kind of plastic brushes. Um, I think I might be going over to Max Factor because I'm I'm never let down by their mascaras actually. Um, 
let me know what what's your cult mascara i've like i've tried loads i'm currently just opened a ysl um like their classic one and it's a bit clumpy i'm not too sure about it what's left, what's left is most worn eyeshadow and what what has been my most worn eyeshadow it's kind of difficult to bring it back down to just one um but i mentioned this in my america haul and i've been loving it ever since i got it and it just does not fail at all it is the naked 2 palette by urban decay and it's, it's just beautiful love it um the colors are amazing you can kind of mix it up for day or night just absolutely beautiful the pigment on them the way that they go together I've, I've, I think I've just been using this palette from my eye makeup for like, this is like a must buy. Like, I, I don't think I could live without it now. It's amazing. And summer's gone really quick and now it's the end of August, don't know what happened really. The weather's been alright. It's been, it's been a good summer I think. Lots of, lots of chilling out and working hard as well. Loads and loads of people who I follow on YouTube already do this so I don't know who's really left to do it. But I think from who I who I watch, I haven't seen um, Gem from Gem's Maquillage do one. She might have done one, maybe I just missed that. Maybe it was when I was on holiday or something. And um, super gorgeous. So I'd love to see you guys um, do this tag. And if anyone else is watching this, I invite you to do it as well. I'm really keen to see what everyone's been using. Bye, thanks for watching.